Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and I'm standing in front of one cool car. This baby's the 32 Zephyr Hot Rod. It's an amazing build. Over $270,000 spent on this car. This thing was picked for the 80th anniversary of the 32 Ford at the Peterson Museum. Only one of 10 cars. Ford Motor Company chose it to go to Pebble Beach with them and their display. It's an amazing setup here, guys. She's got this 371 J2 Oldsmobile motor. It's got a six stack on it. It's got Lincoln uh, valve covers on it. Just an amazing build. And if you want to check out about 100 pictures of it, go to our website at VanguardMotorSales.com. We're going to put it up on the lift so you can see all the cool stuff on the bottom side. You can bet we're going to check out that Oldsmobile motor. We're going to look at the custom interior. We're going to open up the rumble seat. We're going to show you everything you want to see so you can make a great decision on your 32 investment. So come on up here now and we're going to fire it up. So check this beauty out. Look at that custom grill. All custom stainless in there. Now these emblems, the Zephyr emblems, those are actually handmade by a jeweler. And we've got Lincoln uh, clearance lights here, the uh, fog lamps, the Ford headlights, and then the Buick covers on the Willwood brakes. It's got four wheel disc all the way around inside those covers. Beautiful. We've got fluted um, dropped axle there. Everything that can be polished is polished. Everything that can be chrome is chrome. And look at that. They even polished those one-off heads. And these valve covers, custom made. They took 56 Lincoln valve covers, cut them apart, and made them to the uh, correct size to fit these heads. Those exhaust manifolds are custom made for the car. They've used the traditional leather strap to hold down the top. Those Strombergs, man, we're gonna pop the hood and show you that in a minute. That is a one-off um, period correct uh, intake also. The windshield's been cut down two inches so a Brookville top will fit on it. Now that button is also off a of Zephyr. It is just there for looks. It is not operational. Look at these door jams. Look at the paintwork on the car. It's just amazing. Now this is a uh, Ford color that's been custom made. The uh, Leather in here looks beautiful. And this Zephyr dash has been cut down to fit the car. Custom gauge made for it. Everything works, guys. This is actually how you start the car. You pull this switch out right here. You pull it out for ignition and then you pull it on out for the starter. There's your five-speed shifter hooked up to that Tremec transmission so you can hop on the expressway and drive this baby. This custom wheel was made after an authentic Zephyr wheel. Now the Zephyr wheels were 17 inch. This one was custom made 15 inch so it would fit this car perfectly. The seat is also Zephyr. Beautiful ride here, guys. All the stainless looks good. We've even got Zephyr taillights. We've got a Zephyr cap here on the uh, 32 fuel tank. And take a look at the rumble seat. You gotta put the kids in the rumble seat. Look at this baby. Now it does have a custom stereo under the seat. We'll show you that in a minute. There is a speaker inside here. It looks like it belongs there. You wanna talk about workmanship? This car's got some workmanship. Probably one of the finest cars I've ever had the pleasure of being this close to. Look underneath the seat here. You can really tell. Look at the time and planning that went into putting that stereo system in. It is amazing. And I dare you to find a wire in this baby anywhere. Can you get underneath that dash and show them how, what the underside of the dash looks like? This is gonna be real important for you guys to take a look at that. Look at the beautiful finish on the bottom side of this dude. This thing is amazing, guys. It's got custom German carpet in it. She is amazing. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we own all of our vehicles here. We spend the time to check them out before we buy them. 
Now I'm part of the buying decision on every car here, so that means that you're getting my 35 years of experience buying your custom hot rod so we can park your dream in your driveway. Now let's go outside and drive this baby. Let's take the little 32 for a ride. Zephyr Hot Rod. I'll tell you what, this baby was dreamed up. So if Henry Ford would have decided to build a street rod, what would he have built? Of course he would have built a 32 and he would have used Lincoln parts. That's what they did when they designed this baby. Five speed trans, Oldsmobile motor, making power, she is beautiful, guys. Beautiful paintwork on the car. You can drive it anywhere. It drives like a brand new car. Just an amazing street rod here, guys. And at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're right outside the Motor City. So if you'd like to fly out, check out this beautiful street rod, we'd love to have you. Hop on an airplane. We're bringing in about 40 new cars every month. We've got 229 in stock right now. So we've got plenty of stuff to look at. And I tell you why, I don't expect this car to be here long. This thing is sweet, guys. That exhaust is amazing. Just the whole build on the car. Everything customized. Fit and finish on everything is beautiful. Like I said, hop on an airplane, come on out. We're here on Saturdays too. So if you'd like to hop in your truck and bring your trailer and take this baby home, no problem. Just give Tom a call, let him know you're coming down. We'd love to have you come on down. Now we've got 100,000 feet and like I said, 229 cars. So if you're gonna come out and check out this car or one of our other cars, give Tom a call. Let us know where you're coming so we can have it ready for you. If you need help with financing, no problem there either. We got two bankers we work with on financing. It's about a 15, 20 minute phone call with the banker and this dream's in your drive. I tell you what, I do have the best job in the world to get to drive such a cool car like this. Like I said, Chip Foose designed it. Jim, Gene Winfield, he's got his signature under the hood there. I tell you, some of the most iconic people on the planet have seen this car. It was invited to Pebble Beach. It was in the Peterson Museum. I mean, what a piece of history. And I'm out here pulling out in traffic in it right now. And I tell you what, you got no problem merging in traffic with this baby. All you gotta do is pop the clutch and put the hammer down. What a sweet ride. Now we're gonna do something all the other guys don't do. We do it with all our cars. We're gonna get it up in the air so you can check out the underside. We're gonna take a look at the motor. The guys are gonna inspect the whole car. They're gonna make sure all the wiring's working. They're gonna make sure all the major systems work in the car. We check out every car that we do. So give Tom a call at 248-974-9513 and make sure you visit the website often at vanguardmotorsales.com. Now we're coming up on our shop right now. We're at 15100 Keel Street in Plymouth, Michigan. And I tell you what, this little 32 hot rod is an amazing ride. I tell you what, I'm ready to jump in this baby and do a Route 66 trip, I tell you. Now here's the shop right here, 15100 Keel Street. All right, we're underneath this 32 now, and it is beautiful underneath too. Now, starting right here with the crossbar, and of course those taillights, man, those Zephyr taillights are so cool. 
Now the crossbar actually has two bolts. One of them's hidden inside. Then you just got the one nut cover here. Now it's got the 32 tank and look at the finish on that. I can see that I'm going to need a haircut. The finish on the bottom side of the tank is so nice. Now we do have a winner's uh, rear end in it and the paintwork on it is amazing too. Now don't confuse it with a quick change and the quick change would have the box on the back there with the gears in the back that you could change them out real quick at the drag strip. The uh, springs have been all chromed up. Now on the brakes, I believe I made a mistake on the brakes. Um, I said the previous owner told us four wheel disc. Well, these are obviously drums here. These are still uh, fashioned after the Buick drums, but they are modern day drums. All the lines look good. They did a beautiful job running all the fuel lines and all the brake lines along the frame. Now the frame's boxed out front to back. The swing arms are all polished up. Now the exhaust, we got something pretty cool on the exhaust here. It, look at these beautiful bends. Uh, little uh, glass pack mufflers here. Uh, beautiful uh, paintwork on the dry shaft and on the floorboard here. Uh, the proportioning valve for the brakes is right here. Those lines are all stainless, P-clip down to the frame. Now we've got cross members going in every direction here, but you really can't see them because they blend right in with all the paintwork here. All these cross members are beautiful. Now the, uh, this is the master cylinder for the brakes. It's actually got remote reservoirs up underneath the uh, seat there, which is very cool. And then we have the hydraulic uh, slave cylinder for the clutch. We do have a Borg Warner five speed here, so you can hop on the expressway and go, no problem. Uh, if the cameraman wants to swing around here, the coil's actually mounted right down here. And then that is actually the oil pressure sending unit. He's got a line running down here to that. So all the wiring and everything is tucked away and hidden. So he did a lot of cool stuff like that, hiding them. That's the fuel pressure regulator there. Um, just everything about the car is amazing. Even the starter, it's a high torque starter that they've painted it up to look old fashioned. Bell housings all also look all 32-ish. Um, as you can see, there's no motor mounts here. They actually made a custom motor mount for the front right here, which is very cool. So those motors mounted here and in the back back here with the transmission. Vega style gearbox, and this thing has all been dolled up and everything. Got a lot of carving and stuff in it and all uh, polished up. All the shafts are polished. Pitman arm is polished. All the cross uh, links are all polished. The hairpins are all customized and polished. The drop axle here has been fluted and it's all polished up. The spring up front here has also been chromed up. Now up front here is where those Willwood brakes are hidden behind these uh, Buick um, covers, make it look like it's got the big Buick brakes with the cooling fins there. Uh, again, the crossbar up here, just one bolt showing, the other one's hidden in here, and then they actually have the frame fluted up here. I mean, you can see why this thing won every award everywhere it went. Don't forget, Ford took this car to Pebble Beach. That is amazing to be picked to do that. And then getting into Peterson Museum, that is amazing. I mean, just not any car gets invited to be in the Peterson Museum. Now let's look at these wheels and tires. All right, we talked about the wheels a little bit earlier, but these are billet aluminum. Now I know they look just like artillery wheels, but they didn't want to use the metal artillery wheels. So they went out and had these billet made. Unbelievable. You can see the chrome back there on the drums, those Buick drums. And then the center Zephyr caps were custom made. Trim rings look great. And of course, wide whites on these bias plate tires. They're six inch by 16s. Um, you can see the paintwork on the frame looks just as good as the side of the car. Actually, the reflection you see there is actually my car in the background. I'm putting a transmission in it right now. Now let's look at the rear. All right, out back here again, custom made wheel, center cap and all. And look at that center cap right there. That's the cyclone in the back ground there. You can see the uh, Vanguard Cyclone. You can see the American flag in there. That shows you the chrome work on that cap is amazing. And I tell you what, I might even be a little better looking in that cap than I am in real life. Let's get under the hood. All right, let's get under the hood. You got this uh, leather strap, this period correct, man, isn't that cool? Now look under the hood here, look at this. Gene Winfield, George Barris at Pebble Beach in 2012. Uh, we've got, uh, it says Mike's, let's see, Superdeuce. Wow, look at this. 
Those Lincoln valve covers, custom made, those are 56 Lincoln valve covers. Now they've been boasting that, that some Ford engineers actually thought those are real Lincoln valve covers. They were actually custom made for this. It's got a period correct intake on it. Now the car is just running off these two center um, Stromberg carburetors. They have all these other ones disabled. Now you can hook those back up and then we have the beehive uh, oil filter here. Uh, the alternator is actually behind the pulley here. It's a magneto alternator um, running the water pump. We got a dual bell set up on it. Looks like the um, radiator, of course, it's brand new. Everything that can be polished is polished. The heads are one-off uh, heads, experimental heads that are all polished up too. Of course, they're uh, aluminum. Now this exhaust uh, when you were looking underneath, if you take a close look at the video, there it's one piece all the way out. So the cast exhaust manifolds are welded right to the exhaust pipes. They go all the way to the back in one piece. Now we got to swing around the other side. Chip Foos left us a little present underneath the, this side of the hood, which is very cool. Um, he did the original rendering on the car. Now they changed it a little bit from that time, but look at that. Chip Fruce actually drew this car under the hood. Isn't that cool? We got Henry Ford under here. He was at Pebble Beach. All kinds of history with this car. And look at the finish on everything. That firewall finish is beautiful. That paint is smooth as can be. And as you can see, the only wires you can see on this car are these vintage spark plug wires. You don't see any lines. You don't see any wiring whatsoever. They've hidden the one wire coming off that uh, magneto right there and it's hidden so well you can't even see it. Just an amazing car here guys. So give Tom a call at 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales this effort in your driveway.